Hello guys, it's DJ Asimov's HD, and I've been gone for a very long time. Uh, so it's about time to make another really good video, and uh, I don't know if it's a good video, but I'm just saying. Um, I'm going to try to be explaining everything in particular, and uh, I'll tell you what we need. Uh, what we need is we're going to start off with the KV that we bought, or purchased, or, um, or got from someone that's sunbanned. Um... We're gonna need J Runner. Um, I'm using 16756. Uh, I know this is not the latest, but this is, so that's all we need. Um, uh, Nan Dump, which uh, yours might be any name to anything, it might be Flash Dump, whatever. So I'm gonna be using mine. So um, what we're gonna be, that's pretty much all we're gonna be needing to do. Uh, we're gonna open up, uh, actually, no. No, I'm going to show you how to use what's in um, XC build so we can get 16767 to 16756 so it will change this to be the updated version. So we're going to open this. So we're going to J Runner, XC build, and what we're going to do, we're going to open both of them. We're going to go to the latest dash. We're going to copy this and paste it in here. Okay, I already did that, so I don't need to. Um, so now, I backed out of that. Now we're going to need our information so we can actually, you know, we can get our information to start. So what we're going to need to do is run as administrator, J Runner. Okay, everything's working fine. Uh, we're gonna need our CPU key for this, which I don't think I might need. I might not need my CPU key. It might just load off the bat. So I will check if that will. If my CPU key will just load off. The name of it. Yeah, see it loads. Uh, because I've done this before, so it was gonna load. Uh, you might have to put yours in there. So. Uh, to get the information we need, so say if you don't have your info written down, uh, this is the way how we're going to get the useful information information that we need. So first off, what we're going to need uh, for this step is we're going to need our LDV, which mine is 4. It should be only one number, so it shouldn't be that hard to remember. And uh, and we're going to need some stuff in here. We're going to need our DVD key, our OSIG, and that's it. That's all we need here. Unless you have a different region KV, then you might need this. But I don't, so I don't need that. Um, so once you've got this stuff copied down, all of it, we're going to extract the files from our NAND. That means extracting the KV we originally had, all that stuff. All the good stuff that's from there. And we're going to go to the out um, output of JRunner. And we're going to find our files that we've had already. Uh, or well, the files that we just extracted. So well, I'm gonna put this one on the side, and I'm gonna close J Runner, and we're going to open J Runner. Uh, we're not gonna open the program, but we're going to open two uh, folders: the one with the directory of J Runner. So now in the directory, you should see a few. XE build that we put the file in and we're gonna go to data in data what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be replace well actually we're gonna be copying over to files so we're going to copy um, FCRT decoded we're going to be copying over SMC config 
and SMC all decoded. Um, so now what we're going to we're going to need to rename these so they work. The FCRT we're going to take off the underscore and just, so it's just that and uh, SMC config uh, we keep that the way it is and SMC we just want it to be SMC so now we want our KV that we were going to use which mine is on the desktop and you have to name it KV you put it on the folder I'm just going to copy this and paste this in here so now <clears throat> once we're done with that we can go back to JRunner and we're going to open it so after it's open you might want to uh, uh, actually what we're going to do is we're going to I forgot to put that in there. We're going to need our CPU key again. So let's copy. Let's copy that. And now, once that's in there, we're going to need to go to XB settings. Click no F or C R T. And after that, you're going to go to click the latest dash that you want. And we're going to go to NAND type. Obviously, we're on a Corona V4. So we're going to click that. And we're going to go to RGH2. So we're done with this part right now. So now we're going to go to advanced create an image without NAND dump and remember our number we just found um, that I told you to remember which is D or what well in the LDV mine was 4 so it's going to create the image for me with um, okay so now there's a different KV. You have your different KV in here. Now we gotta patch it. So what we need to do to patch it is we're gonna go to open source. We're gonna go to the actually yeah, J Runner. Click on that, up to flash. And now we have our Kiva opened that we just got. And now we're going to go to Patch NAND. Now, after we patch, go to Patch Kiva. Now, remember, I told you you need your DVD key. And you need your. OSIG. So mine is that one. You can change your serial number, but I wouldn't change the console ID. Now we have a successful KV dump. Uh, literally the KV is in there so now since uh, we need dash launch since this one never worked so we need to close out of here because we don't need this anymore we're gonna go to output and it should be right there so now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna open up EV our XE build because we want dash launch to work on the latest dash. And what we're going to do is disable self or fail safe. So 
switch to uh, advanced mode open your file which mine was in JRunner go to gear go to the first one which, nope that's not it no it's an output and you should get an error say to determine if it's a big if it's big or small block man and you pick yes continue anyway reboot I have RGH2 uh, we're using a corona we need to open up parameter and I'm gonna put 4 here and after that we need our CPU key that's my DVD key your CPU key I don't, I don't know why I did that, I just felt like it. Um, now what we're going to do is... Hey, you can never do that. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, we're going to go to save. I'm going to put this on the desktop. So now we can generate image and a menu should pop up now in here glitch to but beside corona not no spaces or anything you're gonna hit 4g and save there. and there we go so now we are done and we have a successful KV. Well, we we just swapped a KV and a Corona. So now we have Dash Launch working and everything on this one, and we swapped the KV. So thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry if I wasn't so detailed and I'm not showing a uh, picture of the Xbox being online or anything but um I don't like that because I just know this works and it's a hundred percent um you could trust me but I would do a video on it um but I don't have my xbox on me right now so I might later on so um I hope you guys have a great day and uh if you want to talk to me if you have any problems with this or anything uh message me on skype uh my skype will be in the description uh, sorry guys, I haven't been making videos lately. I've been um, doing other things and stuff. So yeah. Um, so yeah. So I hope you guys have a great day. And um, so peace. And I hope this really helped a lot of people. If it has, uh, comment below. So peace guys.